Uh, Mr. Ong spent $1,400 of his salary on a television set and one third of the remainder on a DVD player. If he had one fifth of his salary left, how much was his salary? Okay, so first of all, you must understand that this one third is represent the remainder, while this one fifth is representing the salary. Okay, so don't be confused, okay? It's, a, it's like this one third of the smaller part, but this is actually one fifth of the whole amount of salary. Alright, so you must understand the relationship between them. Okay, so when we do this type of question, alright, there are two methods to solve. Okay, the first is using model, but the second is using branching. Okay, so let's try to solve this question using model first. Okay, Mr. Ong spent $1,400 on his of his salary. So this will be $1,400. And this will represent the remainder. Okay, from here to here is the remainder. And out of the remainder, he spent one third, right? On a DVD player. So it means that we need to cut this remainder into three different units. Okay, so it's one, two, and three. Okay, then from here you shift away one third. Okay, because one third is spent on DVD player. And this will represent the amount of money that Mr. Ong have left. Okay, and the question says that these two units over here represent one fifth of his total salary. Okay, and now if here is one fifth, why is the fraction representing the amount from here to here? Okay, the answer is 4 fifth. Okay, why is that so? Because this portion over here plus this portion over here must give you one whole. Correct? And since this is 1 fifth, so this will be 1 minus 1 fifth, which will give us 4 fifth. Okay? And now, we can see that 1 fifth over here represents 2 units. Okay? So this will be 2 units from here to here. 1, 2. And here's the important question, okay? If 1 fifth represent 2 units, how many units will 4 fifth represent? Yes, the answer is 8 units. Okay, you simply times 4. Okay, the reason why, because 4 fifth is 4 times of 1 fifth. Okay, so when, when here times 4 become 4 fifth, the 2 units must also times 4 to give us 8 units. Okay, and now from here to here, we know that's 8 units. Okay, and over here is 1 unit. So over here must be how many units? Yes, it's 7 units. Okay, so 7 units is equals to $1,400. Okay, the rest will be, will be pretty straightforward. So 1 unit will be $1,400 divided by 7, which is $200. The question asks for the amount of money in total, right? For the salary. Okay, so the total amount of money is how many units? From here to here is in total 10 units. Okay, 8 plus 2 give us 10. Alright, so 10 units will be $200 times 10, which will give us $2,000.